The secret is out of the bottle. New Jersey is making some pretty good wine these days. The wines are really beginning to be very high quality. And every step of the winemaking process happens right here in the Garden State. It starts with the fruit. We plant the grapes, wait about three years. In the fall when everything is correct and the, the flavors are good, we'll pick the grapes. Right now, I am helping to make wine here in the Garden State. I am punching down on Merlot grapes at Unionville Vineyards. It's part of the long process of making grapes into wine. Keeps the cap wet, keeps the, the skins uh, in contact with the, the juice. Longtime winemaker Cameron Stark has worked in California wine country and is now at Unionville in Ringo's. Right now, we're, we're experimenting experimenting greatly in what we should be growing. Uh, we have Syrah, Mavedra, Pinot Noirs, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Rieslings. One of the better aspects of my job is to do the tasting. You can see that there's a lot of yeast in the, the wine still or the juice. But I spit, you can swallow. I was supposed to spit it out. <laughs> that white isn't quite ready just yet. Once it is, it's bottled, labeled and boxed to be sold at the winery, local stores or shipped to be enjoyed out of state. The same process is happening at about 50 wineries across our state from Cape May to Sussex County. The skins are loaded with antioxidants. Many are open year round and offer tours and tastings so visitors can try and see for themselves what our Garden State wineries are all about. Is it is an experience when you come to the winery. You, know, you pull down the driveway and literally, you know, this is your view. And I think that, you know, you can sit out here and enjoy a glass of wine. And most people say when they, when they come into the property, they say, oh my God, it's like being in Napa Valley. Except it's all happening right here at home in New Jersey. Marcy Rubin, News 12, New Jersey.